Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at SEMA and I'm over at the Battle of the Builders. I'm going to go through the cars and kind of see which one. You guys already know which one that I like, but we're going to check them all out. And uh, there is quite a few unique builds that are here. I'm going to start off with this Porsche and it is pretty wide in the back. It has a lot of carbon fiber accents. It looks like it's on airbags has Sparco seats and a roll cage and back here it looks like it has yeah it definitely is on air has a supercharger I really like how this wing is you know it's kind of like the VR4 wing pretty aggressive right here we have carbon fiber accents right here I've loved SSRs and I really like the offset on these wheels and the dish on Porsches you always need like a super big dish and wide wheel on the rear plus this thing is wide body gives you that more meat to have that extra bit of lip that's probably like a six inch lip on that thing probably like a four inch or five inch on the front looking at this thing i don't know if they made a bunch of the parts themselves because it looks like all of this carbon fiber and the flares right here they're carbon fiber you can see that they are look like it uh, looks like a hand layup. This back lip looks like a hand layup. I don't know anything about this build, so I can't really comment on how it was made, but it definitely looks like all of the size skirts and maybe the body kit, like a uh, rocket bunny kit on a Porsche. I have no clue. The next car after the Porsche is the Merc. And like I said before in my other video, this is my favorite car, but there are some things on it and accents that I kind of don't like. I do love the color on it. I love the car. I dislike the color of the interior. Like I said before, it's not my car. I do love the wheels on it. I mean, this thing just has, they're just so bubbly. I mean, this is a rare car. It's like a million, millions and millions of dollars. But also, like I said before, I'd like to get one of these and resto mod it. I was searching, google last night to see if there's any shells available and it looks like there was like one recently sold for like seven hundred thousand dollars but it was like a really bad example of one it was all rusty it sat in like back east in a barn under a bunch of hay it was definitely a bunch of work probably needed every piece of sheet metal replaced on it probably had rusted out floor pans but this thing is a pretty good example of one it has a bottle in the back and i guess the back briefcase is full of money somebody said the cool thing is they actually have the doors open today yesterday when i looked at it they're closed so you could see all the interior it has like a newer kind of like an out it says i think that's alpine but it looks like an ipad display look at that look at the steering wheel column looks almost like uh either like a carbon fiber or something like that Seats look pretty cool. They look like they'll keep you nice and planted if you ever decided to rip this. I wish they would open the engine bay so I could see, you know, see what the engine looks like. Maybe it has a swap. It's most likely original, but it could have a swap in it since everything else is modified on this thing. Coming in here and looking at the stereo and the gauge cluster, I feel like this thing has a newer AMG swap in it. I wish the hood was open this thing has to be it'd be cool if it was like a v12 twin turbo engine in it but there's no way to tell next vehicle is this toyota these things are pretty cool we have like a pile of these at the junkyard just stacked up as sarah came over and she's like oh my god i see all these toyotas i really want one as a project i was talking to the guy that owns this and he fully restored this thing has pretty much brand new everything on it everything's painted powder coated uh, he also has a pretty cool Jeep all the way over there that has like a pop-up tent on it. But I really like the wheels on this. Come underneath it and it's just 100% brand new. It's kind of cool that everything is new. Has a little leak right there, probably from the transfer case. But, you know, that is what happens. And then coming over here, everything has to have an LS in it, which the engine, I think they, these came with like a straight six, kind of like the Cherokee that I have. They're always overheating and always garbage. So kind of cool to see an LS just naturally aspirated, has drive by wire. Looks like it has working AC. Another cool car is this Baja off-road Porsche and it's lifted. It has off-road wheels, off-road tires, it has these cool kind of 
looks like GT3 inspired vented hood or vented fenders. They're wider. Back here, same thing, wider. Has all of this nice suspension. Look at that. I wonder if that's long arm. Look at that. So it might actually function and actually be able to be, you know, ripped off road, not have any issues. Has these mud flaps back here. Really digging the carbon fiber bucket seats and the red. I don't really like, you know, the style of the red, but I do like the color, that color interior and stuff. Everything's wrapped in black Alcantara and it looks like the roll cage. They made the headliner custom molded to the cage. It still has a headliner in there, but it just looks super clean. Then the dash is also wrapped in some black Alcantara. Look how wide these fenders are. Look at this vent right here. The only bad thing about that is if you ever took this off road and you ca caught a bunch of rocks with these wheels and tires, it would just throw all those right through here. This paint would just be all chipped up. It has these, all this shielding right here but the mud flaps wouldn't protect it from all the rocks that would just come and just hammer this door right here. Another interesting car is this, I'm not sure, FRS, BRZ, pretty much the same thing, but everybody started to do these weird headers that face forward. There's a BMW that has the V12 with the same kind of style header, and then it comes into this single exhaust V-band Looks like four inch that goes all the way back. Four inch is a little bit too excessive. I mean, I have three inch on my GTO and it's really loud. It's all tubed. It uh, looks like kind of like a destroyer gray or whatever you want to call the Toyota flat gray right there. I do like the work wheels where they're kind of a semi-gloss black or a matte black. And then they have the brushed lips instead of the polished lips. That's kind of cool. Offset looks pretty good. I'm guessing this thing's also on air. Another cool thing is how the headers are. You would think that this thing doesn't run and drive, but it has a rear mount radiator. Everything is pretty much mounted in the rear. So it is an actual functioning car. They have all this stuff back here tucked. The fuel pressure regulator is tucked back there. All the wiring, can't really see anything. Steam vents are under the intake manifold. Intake manifold goes back, looks like into the firewall. Has that catch can right there. Really trick car. Super clean car is this Ford F250. You don't see these things this clean. Usually you see these things beat to death or on a farm, never been taken care of. You know, a bunch of dents in the side of them. This thing is super clean. I really like the color combo with the blue on the top and that kind of cream on the bottom and the roof on the back. But this thing, it's about all the builders. So they all have to be gone through pretty well. Also another cool feature is the seats still in the back right there. Really like the color combination of this one as well. I like how it has this dark metallic gray and then it has that nice white stripe. I think the other one looks a lot better because it has kind of that patterning, but this thing, super nice. Really like the wheels. Doesn't have rear big brakes, but, and it doesn't have front big brakes, but the interior matches, the dash matches, the steering wheel, all the gauges, headliner, a newer LS, everything with the radiator engine is nice and clean. So most likely, I'd say all these are running, all these LSs are running like a Holly EFI. You can see down there the tags, so I'm guessing that's what they're running, like a Terminator X. This is an Automax, so it's probably a Terminator X Max. This is like the truck section, but we have this truck right here, also super clean, in a metallic, kind of like a stark silver hood that pivots forward. Looks like on automatic shocks with a carburetor, which nowadays most people take all of those engines out, put LSs, fuel injection, has wool with big brakes in the front and the rear. The thing is super clean. The exhaust on the bottom is also pretty clean. Just how it is tucked up in there in that kind of step panel. See how this tailgate is completely shaved. So I know these beds, you can get them brand new, but a lot of people, when they modify them, they cut them out and then they weld the whole thing instead of, and then it completely warps it. So, this one is surprisingly straight. You can see the back tailgate 
look how straight that thing is. And then inside of it, it has, you know, the normal, it looks like not like the real wood, but the simulated wood, which will probably last a lot longer. It looks really clean. Another cool car. This thing is impressively clean, but these really aren't my style, but they still are pretty cool. I like how it's dark blue. I really like blue colors and then all the steering column and all of this accents right here are nice and polished silver. And then the interior is all that dark blue leather, carpet's blue, it just really flows well together. Um, I'm really not a fan of soft tops because they, the tops are just always so difficult to keep clean. They always have issues. This is obviously a show car, so it's not gonna be sitting outside, but it's just cool with, it looks like LED lights, all of that's chromed. Kind of cool right here with, it almost looks like a brake duct, which is pretty cool. And then all the suspension down here is chromed, pretty clean brakes the engine here it looks like it's running ITBs like I said on the other truck a lot of people run LS's now with fuel injection fuel injection is super clean but some of the older engines with Weber's and velocity stacks just sound really really good but this thing doesn't have any flares I mean it just has to be crazy driving this thing through some sand if you were and uh, it just all flinging up how the license plate is like paint matched. Looks really clean. It looks like the wheels might be Cerakoted. That is a very popular Cerako color. I'm not sure. It doesn't tell you all of the details. 1934 Chevrolet Roadster, but it doesn't tell you this is Cerakoted, that's Cerakoted. It looked like the alternator was Cerakoted, but I'm guessing since so much of this is coated, most likely it's possible. I think it's super fancy looking. I'm really a fan of these root beer brown colors that are super metallic y, but just like the other one, really clean, a bunch of stuff's chrome. It looks like this thing has drum brakes. I'd be kind of afraid of driving something like this with drum brakes, but I really like the louvers on the side or the vents, and then the exhaust comes out right here. It's hard to tell what kind of engine's in there, but super straight super clean love the suicide doors the pack things the back hinges are gold just like the other one It'd be kind of sketchy driving this thing in some sand it just you know this paint job is way too nice these straps right here holding the hood down are just super crazy it's pretty crazy the roof looks like it's just like upholstered fabric other thing is i probably wouldn't be able to drive something like this because i'm so tall but the interior looks super crazy. Look at the shift linkage in there. And I think that's a parking brake. Gauges down there, all, you know, all kind of crazy. And we have the gauges in the center. There's this Ford F100 right here. And this thing is super clean, super crazy. Color combo is pretty nice. It's white and then it has like this really light gray top stripe on the hood. The bed is the same way. Just really kind of cool. Trucks like this are way too clean because all the time I use my truck to just haul stuff and use it as a truck. But trucks like this are really nice being clean because you don't see very many of them, especially when they're sold because most of the time people use trucks as trucks and they get beat to death. The back tailgate, really cool how it's all nice and smooth. Then how it goes with the tail light, this nice little kind of like almost like a pinstripe and then the exhaust is all kind of tucked in the roll pan down there. Crazy how the exhaust kind of matches the tail lights. Those are pretty cool. Also looks like it has Willowwood big brakes. Like how it's di more dished in the back than the front. It most likely, I don't know if it's on airbags, can't really tell, but it'd be nice. I would think it'd be nicer if the wheels had a little bit more offset, especially in the front. They look really thin in there, but if this thing is static, it needs to be able to turn, so that makes a lot more sense. Pretty cool that this thing is so modern looking, has this nice big supercharger in there. The engine covers are crazy. They just match everything, keep everything clean, have all these vents to keep all the heat out and kind of keep some fresh air in the engine bay, even though it has a lot of that covers, like plastic covers or whatever they're made out of but I really like how this supercharger is just all powder coated. Really nice with this pipe, 
most likely the intake is up here hidden. How the headlight bezels match the rear exhaust and then, you know, the rear turn signal markers also match that. The lower Chevy truck and then we have the lifted Chevy truck. But this one has, and it has AC, has nice LS. Looks like a Holley Terminator X. I know those plugs for sure. Always important to have AC and stuff, especially as you get older. When I was when I was really young, I was like, rip the AC out of it. Now, I'm like, put it back in. But this thing is really clean, just like that one right there. And it almost is like, almost looks like a twin to the one over there, just the color combo. So all of them seems like they have like this kind of matching color combo, roof white solid color here and then the matching color to match the roof but this one also looks like it has the wood bed but it looks like it's actually really real wood like everything's been converted to led man these things they're so clean they just look really good i like the actual bead locks on this thing it has mirrors to show all of underneath of the truck Looks like everything's brand new. It's kind of nice how the exhaust goes because it just comes out really nice and clean right there instead of being like a truck exhaust where everything is just kind of MIG welded and doesn't look good. Everything is TIGged and just looks really good. These wheels, I probably should get a set of these for my Jeep, but yeah, this thing just looks really, really clean. You can't pass up the Corvette. This thing is also super clean look at the meats on the back of this i really like i said with the mercedes i love cars in blue but these things are just so nice look at the big brakes just kind of has like resemblances of like how newer corvettes are styled just with the brakes and the wheels and the color of the car and just how everything is put together Plus the exhaust kind of looks like a newer Corvette. So they were kind of just resto modding this. You can see all of the newer suspension underneath it. Everything is kind of upgraded, like new coilovers, all that stuff has been gone through. The frame is painted really nice. Nice semi-gloss black, just nothing has been untouched on this thing. So I should do all of the rest of these cars. This car right here took a few awards already it has an EcoBoost Mustang engine in it really clean sounds really good runs really good just really clean install you can see all the inner core pipes in there probably rips because it has that EcoBoost engine in there probably has the EcoBoost transmission but it's something you don't see very much one of these old panel wagons right here the interior has this nice plaid and kind of goes with the rest of the look of the car Another car I'm really excited about. Everybody knows I love R32s and this thing is a monster. So it's mostly carbon fiber. The guy was trying to save a bunch of weight because he does track this thing. It has air jacks, which are really cool. Those were out at the booth, which are cool. Really love the style of wheels. This is a dedicated track car, which you don't really see much on like a kind of like a show like this you never see a dedicated track car trying to win an award but it's super clean the wing really big all mounted really nice to the fuel cell most likely this thing already had rust so they just were like oh let's put a fuel cell in there cut it right out big rear diffuser carbon fiber bumper carbon fiber diffuser this roll cage this thing was built to be a race car not a show car and it's still doing pretty well i'm gonna wrap this video up i pretty much figured out which car i love at sema and i'm gonna have to say it is that merc so i'm not too big of a mercedes fan but that just, you know, to me, the interior, like I said, wasn't, I wasn't a fan of the color, but the styling and everything else, just a big fan of it. I really hopefully one day can find a project one, just like I said, I wanna find a Pantera and do like a resto mod, but that's gonna be a lot of money. I wanna finish the charger. I'm gonna end the video here. SEMA has been a lot better than it was last year, just because the fact there's so much more going on there's a lot more vendors. Everybody seemed to come back and forth. 
But if you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.